like for you to step in after being away for so long and sort of get to get rolling with that? Yeah, it's been a it's been a long process uh, for me, but uh, through it all, I just try to stay positive. Uh, and stepping on the court uh, last night was just kind of second nature. It felt good to be out there again uh, with my teammates, uh, knocking down a few shots. Um, unfortunately, we got the loss, but I uh, just try to take you know the good with the bad and try to you know move on. When you hit, I guess the first shot you hit, did you kind of feel like uh, you were in rhythm? Yeah, I mean I was wide open. Uh, when I'm wide open, I feel like I should make all of them. I know that's not realistic, but <laughs> that's just how I think. But not my first shot down. Uh, my teammates found me for another one, and um, you know just got rolling. I always have confidence, but you know to see your first shot go in always gives you uh, that extra boost. In terms of how you felt after 10 months of not playing an NBA game, I know you said you've been working out a lot in Atlanta. When you first got here and that that first practice or two, um, what what was the the feel like in terms of like conditioning and speed and things like that? Was, was it a was it a tough adjustment those first couple of days? Uh, it wasn't too bad. You know, I've been in a while, so. Uh, it was my tenth year. I think if it was, if I was still, you know, real young, it would be tougher. But uh, the speed of the game is obviously still getting adjusted to that. Uh, I just try to slow myself down, try to not do too much. But I was in pretty good shape. Uh, I still need to get, continue to get in better, better shape as far as game-wise. Uh, but I think I will continue to do that, uh, put in the extra work, and uh, you know, try to help these guys as much as I can. Is it a lot of what your first couple of days you're getting prepped? Um, is, like, is it a lot of film in terms of trying to find out where your game fits within what these guys do offensively? A little bit. You know, it's uh, I've been out pretty much half the season, and these guys have been have been playing with each other and uh, uh, going through their plays and stuff like that. So I'm still getting caught up on the playbook, uh, rhythm and timing of my teammates and stuff like that. So. Uh, it'll take some time, but uh, I think I'm trying to do as best I can right now and just learn it on the fly. Anyone here that you've been close with? Obviously, you've been around a long time in the past. Yeah, I'm real close with uh, Phil Handy. We worked together in uh, L.A. when I was with the Lakers. Um, known Danny for a while. I've known Jeremy. Uh, so a few guys. But uh, the good thing about me, Jeremy, and Mark, we're all new. So we're all kind of bonding together, trying to learn the playbook, trying to learn each other. Uh, another teammate, so uh, I'm glad I'm not, you know, just a lone survivor of being the, the new new person. Having two guys like that who are not only also new but the playmakers that they are, um, if you guys play together, does that kind of make it easier to, you know, improvise over the parts you maybe don't know because those guys play kind of games that fit an improvisational nature? Um, most definitely, you know, uh, Mark found me a couple times for some easy buckets, and uh, Jeremy is just a um, a smart player, and uh, he gets people in their positions and kind of that floor general out there. So uh, not only we're all new, they're just good players, and uh, they facilitate very well, so it makes my job a lot easier. What are your early impressions of Nick Nurse as a head coach? Great coach, um, great communicator. Uh, when I sat down and talked to him my first day here, uh, you know, he didn't make me any promises, but said, you know, be ready when your number's called. And, uh, you know, all you can do is respect that. So the guys respect him, um, teammates and coaching staff, and, uh, I enjoy so far working working under him, and hopefully that, that can continue. Does he come across as like a first-time head coach? Or you, no, that not not at all. He's uh, seems very experienced, which he is experienced, um, and uh, I know he'll have great things in the future. While you were while you were off and working, out, had you considered at all, you know, the G League route or anything like that, or was it kind of just just waiting it out, knowing that that something like this would probably open up? Uh. I'm not saying that I wouldn't do it, uh, but I think I was just waiting on an opportunity uh, from a team um, in the league just because I've been around so long. I feel like I can compete uh, without having to go that route. Um, if I would have had to have done it, I would have. But um, the first thought was just to try to wait on an opportunity in the NBA and uh, try to help out as soon as possible.